Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, April 21st, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar, and technically we're almost having the opposite uh, momentum today as we had yesterday. As you can see, we're down 0.46% at this current stage, and we're heading back towards the 50 moving average. So this was uh, absolutely a massive move yesterday of roughly uh, 200 pips, and today we're uh, we're basically falling back towards the 50 moving average. So if the 50 moving average uh, holds, then we most likely will bounce from there and we'll head back towards these previous highs. And it also probably means that we're going to test uh, these um, all time highs over here that we saw the back in the end of February, which we haven't basically seen since. We have basically been in a downtrend ever since. And yesterday we basically just completely broke out of that downtrend. Uh, this was always going to pull back. As you can see, we were significantly outside of the bullish band here, and I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this uh, pull back even further towards uh, the middle of the bullish band. That's uh, roughly a zero point nine three percent more to the, the, the downside. So we may run into major support down here at the fifty moving average, but it could also fall all the way down towards the middle of the bullish band before basically uh, rallying to the upside. If you look at other technical indicators, you can see the MACD is still very bullish. We're in the bullish territory as well. The RSI is negative at this current stage. The CCI is bullish and so is the stochastic. So we just got a way ahead of ourselves and we basically just need to pull back before going higher. If we bring a crash below the 100 moving average, then we could see this drop all the way down to 150. But there's technically no no sign that we are going to do that at this current stage. We mostly bounce out of 50 and go back towards these previous highs. Uh, that is most likely what is going to happen here. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen. So we did rally here up towards the 50 moving average and then got rejected really heavily. So there is uh, quite a uh, a signal here that the, we are going to have a crossing of the 40 and probably 20 exponential moving average within the next few trading days and that we are going to go even th further to the downside. So if this um, these previous uh, lows here break of 108 and 106, then we could drop all the way down to the 100 moving average down here at 106, 544. So technical indicators are all pointing to... Um, bearish momentum and that this is basically just going to go continue further to the downside. So we are getting very overstretched here in the bullish band and we're getting significantly oversold. But rallies like we saw today got heavily rejected and that is a signal that we may go ahead towards the 100 moving, uh, 100 moving average down here. So if we manage to break above the 50 moving average, which uh, at this current stage looks fairly unlikely that we could head to, towards these previous highs up here at 109, 756. So let's look at the euro, US dollar. And as you can see, we are also pulling back here. We're trading just underneath the 100 moving average, um, trading just underneath the 100 and between the 150. So also here, we got really overstretched in the Bollinger Band, and we could see this pull back towards the previous lows at 11.95 or probably all the way down towards the middle of the bullish band which is at 11.88. So that would be quite a big fall if we fell all the way down towards the middle of the bullish band. But at this current stage we are getting significantly overstretched and we are basically also overbought. Technical indicators otherwise are very bullish. So if we manage to stay above the 100 moving average we could and retest uh, these previous highs here that we saw back in February. But at this current stage, a uh, pullback is kind of expected in order to get enough momentum to go to the, up to the upside. If we were to break below the 50 moving average, then we could see uh, a retest of the 300 moving average down here at 11.77. Otherwise, pullbacks at 
give or take 1196 or the 50 or the middle of the bullish band at 1188 that is probably where this is going to bounce from so let's look at the us dollar aussie dollar us dollar and also you can see here we the gains that we received yesterday we basically gave all of those away today so this will probably fall even further towards the middle of the bullish band down here at 0 0.76 um yes at this current stage if the 50 moving average breaks and the 20 expansion moving average average breaks then we're probably heading towards the middle of the bullish band here if that breaks then we'll head all the way down back towards the 150 down here at 0 0.7601 so quite a reversal from what we saw yesterday but we got significantly outstretched so we did have a rally all the way from the bottom here to the very highs that's a 2.8 percent increase and uh, yes when you have that big of a rally outside of the bullish band it tends to basically snap back towards um, the middle or even the bottom of the bullish band so if we look at other technical indicators we can see that macd is still in, in positive territory but um, and well above the signal line so it's very bullish the rsi is uh, turning around becoming bearish so is the cci and so is the stochastic so I'll pull back from here we could basically see this fall back even further towards the middle of the bullish band before continuing higher so hope you found this helpful you're welcome to support your channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much